This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video and this time I'm gonna be playing with a deck that I never thought I'd be playing <laughs> and that is the uh, Phantasm Spiral deck because I don't think this deck is particularly that good now um, I get to activate Heat Wave and that supposedly passes my opponent's turn right uh, that's the thought now desires here uh, gets this I need the field spell the one thing I've learned is that the field spell is necessary for this deck to even function or win um, <laughs> because I've done like one or two test games with this beforehand. Uh, but at the same time, it looks like I'm getting the dick. It looks like I'm just going to be playing this, uh, this, um, beat em up strategy with, uh, vanilla monsters, uh, is what it seems. Now, I don't need to set the warning and risk losing it to something like Twin Twister. Uh, I don't need to do that because of the fact that he can't normal summon, um, or special summon effect monsters because of Heat Wave. But goddamn, I really, really need to draw into one of the three remaining copies of Pacifist, because I've got two terraformings and one of it left in the deck. That Desires, in theory, uh, I probably should have used Fossil Dig before I Desires, but at the same time, it's only one less card. Doesn't really matter. I'm playing against Sylvans. I'm playing on the Checkmate server, um, and what I have found out is, I'm not going to Ash Blossom this. No way. Um, I'm going to Ash Blossom like your Sylvan Charity if you activate that. Hell yeah. Um, what I have found out here is that uh, with uh, with the Checkmate server currently is that if you have Tornado Dragon in your extra deck, it still considers that a beta card. Um, I guess because it's a TCG exclusive, but that shouldn't matter because I've played with other TCG exclusive cards on the Checkmate server before, and it just it, for some reason it's just not there. It's just not capable of uh, being used uh, is what it seems to be as a problem. But let's see. Um, at the end of the battle phase, if the equip monster battled, uh, okay, cool. So this can summon my Spiral Dragon from deck. And, yeah, hell yeah, okay. That'll work. We'll do that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll equip this to this. I'll attack with these. I'll get my, uh, Spiral card, my Spiral Dragon out of deck. And then, um, and then this will move over to it. My opponent will be forced to discard a card. And then I'll be able to make Bahamut Shark totally awesome and then set Solemn Warning. So I'm actually in a much better position than I thought I was, uh, strangely enough. But it's because of Heat Wave. The only, like, the Heat Wave is... The Heat Wave was really good. Uh, he opened with Lone Fire Sylvania. Like, that's a really good play line for Sylvans. But, uh, so I'm going to be doing a few videos with this deck. Just because uh, it's a really interesting... Um, I don't think it's decent. The only thing, the, the highest placing that this deck has gotten is 15th place at a Seattle Regional that was 170 people where the person played 8 rounds and out of those 8 rounds, 2 of them were buys. <laughs> he got a buy in like round 2 and a no show like round 6. Um, but that is the build that I'm playing. I've swapped one card out. I swapped uh, the third Ghost Ogre for a third Ash Blossom. Uh, but so this, my opponent is running down his timer, and I would really, really like for him not to just lose straight out of the gate. MST here on this now? Why now? Sadness. Okay. Well then. All right then. Um, well, we're going to make the uh, Bahamut Shark totally awesome. Uh, and I know that he's going to be able to excavate Martial Leaf at the end of the turn. Uh, that's not something that I'm too worried about, because I can just negate it with the Toad and then take it. Uh, but still. Like, uh, yeah. So the Martial Leaf dies, um, and he gets to target a monster on the field and destroy it, so he's going to target my Toad. Or if he target, he's going to target the Toad, I'm going to negate it and get back my Megalo Smasher. Um, so that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I will use this to get back this, because I've got more than enough Totally Awesomes in the extra Oh, that's another thing, I put a third Totally Awesome in the extra deck, and took out Lagia for it, because all of the level 4 dinosaurs in this deck are waters. <laughs> so in realistic terms, why would you ever be making Evil, Sw Evil Zar Lagia when you'd be making Bahamut Shark Totally Awesome? Like, why would that ever be an option? <laughs> that's, that's my question. 
Um, but so he's doing this. Uh, I'm gonna just Ash Blossom this. <laughs> Ash Blossom the Lone Fire, mate. Got me. Um, <laughs> God damn it. Fucking hell. Alright, well, that was... Uh, the heat wave didn't let my opponent play. That's, that's, I mean, I don't know why I'm getting upset about this. This is what I've resigned myself to. But yeah, I don't think this deck is, like, anywhere near, like, top tier or anything like that. But it is, in theory, really easy to play because it's kind of knuckleheadish. <laughs> I've been, the, the few games that I've tested with this deck, including this one, um, the very, very minimum amount of thought process has gone into, like, every single play that you make, so it feels a lot like you're playing really, like, old 2002-era Yu-Gi-Oh!, and, uh, you know, that, that kinda, that kinda feels good on a certain level, but, anyway, there's gonna be multiple dual videos of this today. My opponent literally just got shut out, um, and I didn't even do anything spectacular. <laughs> I just summoned Vanillas. That's all that happened. And then an Ash Blossom happened. Then Heat Wave happened. Heat Wave was the big one. Ooh. Ooh, Heat Wave was the big one. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Helps the channel grow. Helps me do some other projects that need some funding that I want to do, like get better computer, do some streaming, things like that. As well as if you want access to my private Discord server where me and a bunch of other people chat on a daily basis, then you can definitely go check that out as well if that's something you're interested in. If you want to get deck help, just talk with people about random subjects, stuff like that, that is definitely something that you would be interested in. But other than that, like this video if you like the content I've been producing and want to see more of it. It lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing. Other than that, if you're new here and are not subscribed already, then definitely please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, then ding that little bell. Hit that notification button. Join the notification squad so you can be notified whenever I produce content and put it up so you do not miss an upload. Uh, I'd love to welcome any new subscribers to the uh, to the little dysfunctional family-esque community that we've got built around this channel. And if you want to enter the notification squad, squad, go ahead and do that. Squad? Ooh, I cannot speak clearly today for some reason. Maybe because it's 2.30 in the morning and I am incredibly tired. But this is the only time I can record nowadays because I'm super busy during the day. But anyway, as always guys, as I've already said, thanks for watching. That is it for this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thanks for watching again, thanks for your time as usual guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video, where I'll more than likely be playing this deck again, because <laughs> I like to not have to think about a lot of things, but take care.